Hello Capricorn, this is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your uh, three, uh, three card quickie for lovers only, for the lovers. So welcome to your reading, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. If you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. I do also offer other spiritual services like cleanses, uh, healings, and money spells, and uh, unblockages and all sorts of stuff, spiritual support for, you know, empaths and other spiritualists. So you can contact me about that. Okay. All right. So I will be using the Dark Angels Tarot deck today. I love this tarot deck. So I hope that you guys like it too. And this is going to be a three card spread. Okay. And um, so we're going to try to keep it quick, and I'm just going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Capricorns. Okay, what are you saying for the lovers in March of 2018? Okay, what are you seeing for Capricorn? Okay, a card to represent Capricorn in their current relationship in March. Okay, where are you seeing the relationship overall? And then Capricorn Lover. Okay, all right, I have your answer. And I am going to keep them face down and turn them over as I read them, okay? All right, so first of all, let's look at Capricorn's card. Capricorn's got the Ten of Swords. So right off the bat, I feel as though... Um, You know, Capricorn is definitely dealing with possibly uh, some some family issues in March. Possible family issues in March. Okay. Uh, if it's not family, then it's 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 bad juju. It's 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 bad energy as far as like with uh, friends possibly. You know, feel like. Uh, you know, Capricorns are going to be dealing with, you know, reaching some kind of, you know, something's coming to a conclusion, something's coming to an end. Uh, perhaps Capricorn is possibly going to be wanting to uh, end something negative in the relationship. Uh, feel like there's definitely something going on. The overall energies for the relationship is the Knight of Swords. So here's another Swords card that comes up. So I will tell you that I feel like the Knight of Swords, it kind of represents there being tension for the Capricorns during the month of March. But I feel as though it's because you're trying to get clarity. Okay, this Ten of Swords doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely over or anything. Let's look at Capricorn's Lover. Okay, see, they come up as the nine of pentacles. So a lot of you Capricorns are possibly either with an air sign or you might be with an earth sign. By the way, this knight of swords, I feel like a lot of you Capricorns are dealing with trying to end things with, a, with an air sign and they don't want to let go. So it's definitely causing some tension in the relationship. Okay, just looking at this, I feel like this Knight of Swords, just without clarifying it, I'm not going to throw any clarifying cards. I just feel like that Knight of Swords is somebody that's actively throwing bad juju, bad energy. I feel like it is somebody coming from Capricorn's either family or, you know, maybe, maybe somebody that Capricorn is associating with, you know, is betraying them. Now, I will tell you that I feel like it's a rough month. I feel like individually it's a rough month for the relationship. But I will tell you that the card to represent your lover is the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel as though that Nine of Pentacles is representing where 
you know, they're sort of sticking by you. They're being loyal. <clears throat> they're being loyal. Um, they're sort of going through, you know, what you're going through. Okay. So, and, and I feel like that's to be appreciated. So if, it, you know, don't take that for granted ever. Okay. Especially when somebody's willing to stick by you, uh, through that, because this night of, of <clears throat> swords, <clears throat> I'm sensing that they're connected with the Capricorn. They are either an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. They're not wanting to let go. I do see Capricorn trying to end it. Okay, and it is going to end. I feel like the Ten of Swords does represent closure coming for the month, just overall. Um, you know, and I do feel as though your lover is going to help you through that. Okay, a lot of you are coming out of long-term attachments, long-term conflict with an air sign in particular. And I will tell you that whether or not you're an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, they will hold on for dear life. Um, I've, I've even had to put up spiritual psychic protection. Okay, so... Now, who's to say, I, you know, I don't feel that it's it's easy sometimes. It's not because I'm sort of sensing that full moon energy coming in for March the 1st. You know, but I do feel like it is a cycle. Just looking at the cards, I feel as though the month, the, the front of the start of the month is going to be sort of difficult. But I feel as though, you know, just looking at the outcome just overall of the month of March, I feel like something positive is going to be happening within the relationship. Feel as though you're going to be dealing with, especially a lot of you, and just to let you guys know the good news, feel like a lot of you Capricorns have dealt with, you know, this situation and you've always sort of been left, you know, this air sign person is always able to throw out a negative perception in your relationship and tear it down. Not with this person. This person, I don't feel like they're going anywhere. So, so I bet you guys thought this was going to be negative. Again, I do see some negative stuff going on, but I do see your lovers being your rock through the situation. Okay. So it could be different situations. It could be some of your ex-lovers are taking you to child support court. Some of your ex-lovers are just being, you know, just, just being very negative because, you know, and codependent, you know, maybe they're not letting you go. Maybe they don't, you know, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they, uh, you know, they don't want to be with you, but they don't want anybody else to be with you. Uh, one of those kind of situations is happening. Just something real, somebody being honorary. Okay. All right, Capricorn, that is your reading. Again, if you need more clarification, you can look at some of the other readings that I put up for the month of, of, uh, March. You guys got me entry. You guys actually do have a four month forecast. You can go and look at uh, if you are still in doubt, you can definitely come and get a private reading. Okay, the link to my website is below. And I'll see you guys next time. Blessed be.